Hello and welcome. Um, this little video is meant to show you around the online portal for Backstage Library Works' authority control profile. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll come to this landing page. Um, you should have received a link um, to ac.bslw.com forward slash Mars. Um, you should have also received a username and password from either the documentation that your project manager sent you or from your account representative. The username and password will be the same for you. So once you log in, there are a couple of tabs that I want to go over with you. Um, we'll go over the profile tab first. Within the profile, um, you have two different profiles that you will be um, manipulating and making selections from. This will be the authority control profile as well as the RDA enrichment profile. You will ignore the machine upgrade as well as the record dedupe. So within the profile section, you're automatically brought to the authority control profile. There are six tabs that you will fill out um, that is asking about various things that you want to happen during your processing for authority control. Um, each section has a blue highlighted option. Um, if there is this blue highlighted option, this will be our recommended setting. Um, you can also call it our default setting. Um, in most cases, um, the blue default setting will be completely appropriate for your particular collection, um, unless you are maybe a law library, special collections, or have large localized um, collections within your, your broader set. Um, if you wanted to quickly select all of the blue options, you would just click Load Defaults. Um, and then that would check all of those automatically for you. Um, as you're moving through the profile, make sure you click the Save Changes before you move on um, in order to ensure that your changes are indeed saved. A couple things I wanted to point out um, within the profile itself. You'll see with each step um, within the various sections of the profile, um, you'll see a question mark for that particular step. If you hover over the question mark, it will give a brief little pop-up of a summation of what is happening in that particular step. However, if you were to click on the question mark, it will pop out into a new tab um, to our wiki, which will give you much more information about that particular step and what is happening during that option. As you're reading through, if you find that there is something you're not quite happy with, um, with that step, you can always ask for a change. And you would do that by clicking with these modifications and then typing in what you want that change to be. So for instance here, we will say we do not want any O2O processing. Then of course you would click save. Um, before moving on to your next tab. Um, there are some options that don't have any default settings. Um, so for instance, the accelerated reader or the identities management. Um, we don't automatically include these particular options because um, they're not widely used throughout the entire community. We have a mix of academics, public, special libraries, um, so we don't want to force these upon you either. <laughs> um, so they, but you can choose them um, as you see fit for your collection. Um, so as you're going through, go ahead and feel free to click any that you do want to happen in your processing. You can leave those that you don't care about blank. Um, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we will go over questions with you um, once we get to a profiling call um, to go over any sort of questions or clarifications that you might have as well. Um, the RDA enrichment profile is the other profile that, that you will fill out. Um, this works exactly the same way. Um, we have those blue default options as well as um, options to 
suggest custom um, cleanup, custom um, processing in whatever way <laughs> you imagine. Um, if you are filling out the authority control profile, you do not need to fill out section two of the RDA enrichment profile. Um, and this is because it is identical to section two of the authority control profile. So there's no real need to duplicate efforts there. Um, another thing that you'll want to do um, once you're completed filling out both of your profiles, you'll want to load a sample set of data um, for us to process. So once you've identified which records you would like to send us, you'll just click on this jobs tab and then you'll click add a new job. Now from the drop down, if we are in a sampling situation where we're testing out um, the settings you've put into place, um, you'll choose sample from the drop down. And it, then you'll choose, um, select this choose file and you'll select the files that you want to load. Now it's entirely possible you'll have just one mark file you want to load or you'll have multiple mark files. Regardless, you'll select one at a time, um, but you can still add more files to this one particular job. So as such, you see I have loaded two files now, and then you will just hit send in order to initiate the transfer um, up to the website. Now our particular website does not have any features that time out, um, depending on your file size. So you should be able to load millions of records without any trouble. If you do run into any trouble, it could be that your system has a timeout um, on your end. If that's the case, we can certainly set up a separate um, FTP in order to transfer the files back and forth. Um, once we have completed the sample or completed any other processing, we will send you the files back through this same job um, that you are creating here, but we will send you a link um, so it's easy to find. Um, a couple other tabs that are available within this portal. Um, the info is just uh, your contact information. So if there's anything wrong there, let us know so we can update that for you. The guides tab. Um, is just a link to our PDF version of the profile. Um, this is not kept as up-to-date as the online profile or the wiki, but if you wanted to have a PDF version, um, that's certainly available for you there as well. There is also a link to the wiki um, that you could certainly read through and navigate that way but I do find it a lot easier to navigate the wiki from the actual um, steps within the profiles. Um, it's a lot easier to find that way. Um, so that's kind of our online portal in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we can certainly help you along the way. Thanks.